everybody and welcome back to my channel today is going to be another cherries haul um, I did a cherries haul a couple of weeks ago and I love the stuff I got so I went back and I've ordered some bits I have paid for this stuff myself but I just thought I'd share with you what I've got and me and Martin also popped up to B&M the other day and I'll show you some of the bits I've got some of it we've already started to put away um, but I thought oh, I'll just add this on add B&M on the end so let me show you what I've got from Cherries first of all I've already opened the box but I haven't looked at what's inside I've mostly had this downstairs in my hallway for a good week so again I can't remember everything I've ordered so let's get into it and let's have a look so you know if you saw my last one I thought I got a free tin. It wasn't a free tin. Actually, Martin is going to do his nut. We've just cleared out our, you know where you put all like your pots and pans and your cooking trays and all of that. Our cupboard was just absolutely crammed full. Um, and we just got rid of a load of like plastic bits like this, but it was all like Chinese pots. Um, so digressing, I thought I got that free silver tin and it wasn't free it must have been like a substitute because i'd actually ordered like these um food containers and they're just so handy to put like fruit in in the girls pack lunches and things so i got those and they're a pack of four and they've got the pink lids which i thought the girls would like and i will tell you how much every co everything cost so uh they were £2 for those storage containers. Next, what have I got in here? Oh, <laughs> just something random really. Some tartar sauce, tartar sauce. Really like that with a bit of fish. Although me and Martin are trying to eat a bit healthier. So I might not eat this for a little while, but still, there's that. It is lovely with fish. Um, it's just gonna come out randomly. Uh, I got some Dove moisturiser but it's got like the self tanner in it, the gradual self tanner. As you can see I'm very pale and I thought I I fancied a bit of a tan, just a bit of a glow to my skin so I bought this um, so I can do that. I've got to tell you how much things are now haven't I? So the Dove was £2.50 and the tartar sauce was 90p then I got <laughs> I actually can't remember things I've got oh yeah I know I thought this sounded really nice chicken seasoning so it's in like one of those ones that you grind it's a chicken season seasoning grinder and it's got roasted garlic garden herbs and lemon zest and I thought that sounds really nice that would even be nice if you've done some wedges just to sprinkle that on some wedges um, or like on a nice roast chicken or something lovely again how much were you oh I've lost my email now <coughs> oh no did I just delete it one moment please uh, bin hang on I'll be back okay we're back I deleted the email couldn't find the email then I get a phone call so we're back let's carry on did i tell you the price of no i was looking for the price of the seasoning let's have a look 75p for that one then um i've got some of these hannah's jazzles and they're the white chocolate ones who remembers those as a kid um, i thought my girls would like those so that's for them, and they were oh. no idea. <laughs> oh bloody hell! Oh, there we go. A pound. Why didn't I guess that was just a pound? Then I got the girls a little watercolor brush set watercolour brush set it comes with a pink brush but it's no good really um that light's terrible but you get the gist some uh, watercolours i'm bloody hot excuse me i think i look 
I don't know what I can see from here I look like a beetroot I think that was a pound or a pound fifty for that yeah 150 for that and I thought all the girls can just sit outside and do a bit of painting they like doing arts and crafts my girls dishmatic refills always need those um I have actually got two in the cupboard I think but the other week I ran out and I was so lost without my dishmatic because I use it all the time I use this more than I use a dish cloth so got those I think they were a pound uh, let me just check I'm sure they were um, yeah pound for those then I needed some fairy liquid and I try lately especially since coronavirus I try and buy the anti back one so that's that and I think that that's a big bottle that one 820 mils I think that was two pound for that very yeah two pound then I got some of this angel delight don't like angel delight other than the butterscotch flavor so I got two of those um, I haven't tried this with the kids for years Sophie's never tried it I'm sure I've made it for Olivia and Ava Olivia would eat it Ava won't but we'll give it another go so I've got two sachets of that I've got no room in the fridge actually so I can't make it up just yet um one 120 for two so 60p each then my friend done a cherries haul after she saw my haul and i saw she had bought she like sent me a little video of what she would got and she got some of these like toilet wipes toilet tissue wipes and i thought they're actually a really good girl for when the girl a really good idea not a really good girl a really good idea after the girls have like done a number two and stuff um because sometimes tissue isn't always the nicest so i thought a wet wipe would be okay and these ones you can flush it does say on here that they are flushable um so i've got two lots of those i'm gonna need that receipt in a minute so i'll keep that there how much were they what cushions um have they got a scent to those there's two different types they were 180 for two packs, so 90p each. Yeah, they're clean and fresh scent. So we'll give those a go. Then I got these sweets, again, for the girls. I just thought they looked like a nice, um, what are they called? Like a pick and mix type thing. So I got them those, sin gluten free. I don't know 100% yummy I'm sure they are uh, so that's for the girls to share um, uh, I can't see them on here uh, I think there was a pound anyway I don't know where they are oh there we go yeah a pound then for myself I got some Wonder Balm lips skin nails and cuticles um, so I just thought I'd try that again not expensive nothing on here is expensive is it it's all really reasonably priced um, that one was a pound for that um, I bought it for my lips really then I got some of this elbow grease stain remover bar. I've got a couple of stain remover bits um, because as you know, Libby comes home covered in paint from nursery all the time. So I thought I'd give that a go, a stain remover bar. And I'm sure these were a pound again. Most things I've bought are a pound. Uh, I've got another stain remover, where's that? Just cause I, the Dr. Beckman one. Uh, I saw someone else's cherry haul actually and she said this was really really good like just rub it on the top of the um, fabric and it's really good apparently so that one for that was two pound and then the elbow grease one was yeah a pound for that stain remover so hopefully they work then I got some dustbin fresheners in the scent apple they did lemon and lavender as well and I 
showed Nibby a picture and I was like which one shall we have and she chose the apple one so that's why we got those and they were a pound for those I'm sure let me just check Oh no, they were 90p. I lied. 90p. 45p each. That's good, isn't it? Now I know these are a pound. Some Harry Bow fizzy belts. Oh, they're not fizzy belts. They are. But they're called rainbow strips. Again, for the girls. Always keep bits in for them. They're not allowed sweets every day. But I like to have little treats in for them. I usually buy them. Actually, I've got some in my B&M haul there. The mini bags. Because they're just a nice size treat. It's not too much and the girls enjoy that then i got some nappy bags 100 you get in there and they're degradable ones that's why i bought those i thought that was quite good not that the flipping nappy degrades does it actually but they were 80p for them and you get 100 in there so that's those and then i got two lots of the skinny whip uh mint and dark chocolate i love these these are my favorite skinny whips so I've got two boxes of those and they're just a nice treat in the evening, low calorie, 97 calories a bar. So I got those and I'm sure they were a pound a box. Yeah, pound a box. Then I've got, what's this? Oh, this is a tanning, the tanning mitt to go with the self tanner. Although I usually just put on like, you know, like rubber gloves that you dye your hair with. I usually just put them on to self tan with. I did buy a mitt as well, uh, just in case, and that was, apparently this exfoliates, applies tan and buffs the skin. Shall we have a look inside? Who's this by? I don't think it was much, at most probably a pound again. Yeah, a pound. Let's have a look what it's like inside. Oh, it's alright to be fair. Oh, look. These are the type of gloves I do put on. So it comes with those. And then it's got like, it's actually really soft, like a velvet, vel yeah, like velvety material that side and that side's just sponge. So that's all right for a pound. I'm quite pleased with that. Then the last few bits we've got are, Oh, I've, I've totally forgot I've got these. No sugar added chocolate cream sandwich cookies. Can you see the picture on there? They look nice, don't they? Um, I don't know how many calories are in those. Let's see. I was hoping 55, I think, in one biscuit. But yeah, I just thought it might be a nice thing if me and Martin fancy a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits. They were... What are they called? No sugar. I've seen that somewhere on here. I'm sure they were a pound. I don't know where they are. Oh, sod it. We'll say a pound. They weren't any more than a pound for those. I might come across it in a minute, but I can't see it on there. Last two things. I got some blue ribboned caramel bars. And they were a pound, I've just seen those on here. Uh, yes, definitely a pound. Oh, there they are. Those biscuits were a pound. So yeah, another treat for me and Martin. Oh, they've got, the girls can have, the, yeah, they're 99 calories. So instead of like a skinny whip, we could have one of these instead. Um, or the girls can eat one, they can have one in their packed lunch or in their cold dinner. And the last thing from Cherries I got was some Epsom salts. Now, lavender scent, me and Martin really like lavender. But if you go into like um, Asda anywhere, Epsom salts are really, really expensive. And I'm sure I paid a pound for that bag. And it's quite a big bag, you get 450 grams in there. Let me see. Uh, I always feel such a twit because I can never find anything on here. I should just edit it all out, shouldn't I, really? Epsom salts, it's really not that hard. Oh, there we go. Yeah, a pound for those, so I was really pleased with that. So I'm just going to chuck this away in the box and then we'll get on to the B&M haul. Give me five minutes. 
Right then, here we go. Let's get into the B&M part of this haul. Got my receipt, got my bag of goodies. As I said earlier, some of it we've already put away. So we bought, it's actually a laundry bin. If you go onto my Instagram, you might see it on my stories. Um, I'll upload it the same day that I've storied my tidying downstairs. So I bought, um, or Martin bought for me, he won some money the other day, done, done a bet and won some money and he took me up to B&M and said, let's get some bits for the house. So um, we got a, it's actually a laundry basket. I've used it for toy storage, so I put all the kids' cuddly toys in there. And then our storage boxes for the cube storage, they were all looking tatty, so we've replaced those. So they're already downstairs, so go and check out my Instagram and you'll see them on there. But they're, they're nice. They were meant to be £7 for the storage boxes, for two, and they were reduced down to £5. And the, the laundry bin was £10. I don't know, there might be some other bits that we I might have forgotten about, but let me just show you what I've got. So the first things first is this blind cleaner. We've got a blind in our kitchen, um, so that'll just make cleaning that a bit easier. So Martin saw that and was like, oh, let's get that. I guess you just squeeze it together and just slide it across. Um, so there's that one, I'm just gonna chuck it in the box down there. Uh, does it say the price on there? Oh, it does, ideal. One ninety nine for that. Then, um, I think I said in my last haul, actually, for the bathroom up here, I just feel like changing a few bits. So, I want to, above our toilet, I'd like to get, like, a couple of heavy wood shelves to go above the toilet so I can, like, pretty it up, put, like, greenery on it. But I'm going for, like, black and bamboo in the upstairs bathroom or and black and white so i couldn't get any towels i just wanted some hand towels to go go in there but i couldn't find any so that will have to wait for another time but i found these uh these are a set of three stackable glass jars and they were seven pound i think they're actually meant for if you see it's like got food in there but my use for this is going to be like i'm going to put some of those epsom salts in there um, I thought I could put the girls' hair ties in there and some cotton buds in another. So that's my plan for that. And that's just going to go on the windowsill. Another thing for the windowsill oh, is this. I really like the whole black with bamboo and greenery. I think it looks really nice. So that's the theme I'm going for. So this was £6 for this. And it's just a little bit of eucalyptus in there. Fake, of course. So there's that one. I'm going to go put it all in the bathroom uh, once I finish this haul. A new toilet brush. So that one was £5. Now usually I do like to, whatever I have in the upstairs, I like in the downstairs. But Martin's got his bike in there at the moment, so we can't even get in there. And this was the last one, so I thought, do you know what, it really doesn't matter, really, if they don't match. I'll do, I can do a st different theme in that toilet to upstairs so that's that one waffling about a toilet brush so five pound for the toilet brush um i got a bin to match this is actually quite a big bin i know i bought a couple of bins in my last haul didn't i my cherry haul but i'll find somewhere for those to go um so again it's the black with the bamboo this is i'm sure yeah it is it's bigger than the one i've got in the bathroom at the minute so that's all right and that was eight pound for that one then i needed a new shower curtain um i always need new shower curtains they, they get like that orangey stuff at the bottom and it's just starting to come now so i thought as we're changing the theme of the bathroom let's get a new um shower curtain oh, there wasn't any i really liked so i just went for this one six pounds i don't know if you'll be able to see let me come in a bit but it's just white it, i'm sat in front of the window so it might not pick up but it's got like there you go you can see there like these silver feathers on them so i thought okay it's okay and like the top of that toilet brush has got silver in it so i thought it kind of ties in so that was the best of a bad bunch so that's that oh yeah i have been saying prices haven't i and then I've got a couple of candles to sit on 
the windowsill with that plant there and this is the scent sea minerals are they the same yeah three pound each and it's a cork lid but it kind of gives the same effect as the bamboo and black and it does smell very nice but i don't burn them they're just for show and they were three pound each i got two because i like things to be mirrored so that plant will be in the mirror no in the middle with these next to it so that's the plan with those and the last thing for the bathroom i got was this bath mat so it's like the black and white theme and i really liked the print on it eight pound so if you can see the picture there that's what it looks like the only thing is is it's like the same material all the way through like the one i've got i don't i can't explain it it's just thicker than this so it feels this feels like your feet would the water would go through it whereas my other ones feel like it would absorb the water if you know what i mean but it's fine it, i like the look of it and it will look nice in the bathroom it'll go nicely with everything i've got i think then i've just got a couple of foodie bits so they've already been opened we got a couple of packs of these and these are the loaded bites they are really really nice and they're sour cream and onion flavor martin loves these and they're only 75 calories a pack that's why we've got those <coughs> i think they were a pound a pack let's see um yeah and we had two lots of those but we've eaten the other lot so that's those then I've got these. I try and find these in Asda because there's 22 packs in here and you get 22 packs for £2. So these are £1.99 um, and you get a mixture. So you get the sour ones, the star mix, the giant strawberries um, and the ones in Asda you can get 22 packs for £3 because they're in two packs of 11. So I try and get these ones if I can because it just works out cheaper. So, um, yeah, and the girls get a variety, whereas the other ones are just the star mix, is it? Then Martin wanted some spaghetti hoops. I don't like spaghetti hoops. He's already had a can out of there, but um, he wanted them to go with something the other day. So that's those. I don't know how much he paid for those. Um, Heinz, I want. 139 and then we got a range of the skinny whips now some were 150 some were 99p or were they all 150 so we've got skinny whip rocky road 75 calories less than they're 70 calories and they were one pound 50 for those the peanut ones i think were 150 in fact no, all the ones he picked up were 150. So we got chocolate peanut ones. Not tried those ones, but I like like a Snickers or whatever, so I'm sure I like that. And then we've got these ones which we've had a couple out of, which are the salted caramel. They were really nice. And we also had some toffee ones. Um and they were very nice. Um and that's everything in my haul. What else did I get on here that I can tell you? Oh, we got a bucket and spade for Ava because she's got a beach party to go to on Saturday. We got some new toothbrushes and toothpaste. Uh, you know, like a uh, washing line prop? Got that, but that's already out in the garden. Um, oh, an air freshener, that's already plugged in downstairs. So some of the bits we have put away. Oh, also Martin picked up like an, en it's an energizer strip light and we've put it under the kitchen unit on the floor so when at night time it lights up i was a bit disappointed because it's only like a warm light i wanted the one or i would have liked the one where it changes color but it still looks nice and i think that's about everything we got oh we got we did get the girls something to, no we went to tesco's and got the girls a little kindy kids the two older ones sophie's obsessed with coco melon so we got her some cocoa melon pajamas they look very boyish but she absolutely loved them as soon as we got home she put them on and i think that's everything we'll just leave it there i think i've done enough waffling for now 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Did that make sense? I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm off. See you later.